All right, I just did a, like a really long, not very concise update for my health. I'm gonna do try to a shorten a version because I left out some major things I wanted to point out. So, um, so here we are. Um, what is this? Uh, April 2023. So um, I had a headache for like five and a half months in 2019, and then that that went away. Uh, I determined it was from black mold. I had multiple confirmations. And then in 20, um, uh, the headache came back. I, I, the fatigue never went away. I always was not feeling very good, but the headache was gone, which is huge because that's a life changer type thing. The headache came back um, January 9th of, around January 9th of uh, 2020. And uh, so I don't, so this is a confusing thing, but uh, I don't get headaches. You know, people say, did you get a headache today? Or no, I, don't, I got a headache January 9th, 2020. And this is April 5th, uh, 2023. And I still have it. So I had one headache. It's never gone away. I'm never without pain. The only time I'm without pain is um, when I'm sleeping uh, unconscious. <laughs> um, like uh only thing that's helped me was codeine i had a little leftover codeine from a surgery and uh, that helped the pain a little bit and then uh, uh oddly enough uh, i discovered that cannabis helps uh tremendously it's the only thing that helps you know i can take tylenol and all sorts of you know chemically derived drugs and and i've tried um i've tried uh, four prescriptions uh, all of which have made the headache worse. Uh, so these are these are prescribed from a doctor and a neurologist. Um, I've gone through all sorts of tests, you know, a dozen tests. Um, nothing's really come up. Um, the one test, though, this is what I want to point out. The one test that something did come up was um, a blood serum test, and they test your body for antibodies, IgG test for particular molds. Your body can produce antibodies for particular things, just like, you know, you can see if someone's had COVID by their antibodies, things like that. Um, so this test revealed um, the main piece of information that made sense, which was that um, my body is responding to Stachybotrys, Aspergillus, and Fusarium, uh, the most toxic of molds. Stachybotrys is extremely, extremely toxic. I believe the military has experimented with the with that um, that um, compound or chemical, whatever you want to call it, uh, because it's lethal. You can kill people with it. It's a neurotoxin. Um, anyway, what the blood serum test revealed was not just that, like I was kind of responding to these things, but it what it revealed was that I um, was responding, like my body had antibodies that were currently active. So, um, so it basically said that that toxin was in my body. Uh, so those three toxins and this, it was almost off the scale. Like it was maxed out. Like a, they have a scale of one to like four or something or one to three. And it was like three, like I was, uh, the amount of antibodies were pretty extreme for these molds. Now, the interesting thing about the that test, the only one that revealed anything wrong with me out of all the tests, you know, other than some slight uh, food allergies, not a big deal, was that um, interesting thing about, oh goodness, I got the brain fog really bad. Um, <laughs> the head's not very good today. I've been up since 4 a.m. and it just kind of happens sometimes and then it makes my head worse and the brain fog's worse and I'm more fatigued. Uh, so it's easy to lose my concentration. But I just want to explain, you know, what um, what the deal is, like with my health. Uh, so, um, so it kind of reveals like currently those those toxins are in my blood. What's interesting about that is uh, we tested the home we're in. Now we remediated mold in that current that home, and uh, I don't know what was part of that initial remediation. But toward the end, at the same time I did that test, maybe that same month or just before. I, uh, we tested our home with the air quality test and not one spore, not one spore of Stachybotrys, of Aspergillus, or Fusarium came up in that test. So none of those toxic molds were in our home. There was an elevated level of uh, Cladosporium, which is a common mold, uh, not really considered, it's considered an allerg allergy, 
Um, and by the way, I tested twice for that mold and other molds, and I'm not allergic, not in the least bit, to molds at all, which is probably why I've never really had an issue with mold my whole life. So just want to explain, you know, what the deal is uh, with the health, because I know a few people still like ask me and, and suggest things, you know. Um, I know it's like really mysterious, um, it, and it doesn't make sense to a lot of people. It didn't make sense to me, but then I found a group on Facebook, Toxic Mold Support Group, and I found out that there's actually uh, tens of thousands of people that are actively being treated for these um, syndromes and things illnesses that are caused by mold toxins the legacy um, medical system is lacking by a couple of decades probably at least and then there's some specialist doctors who have done research and and um, they've um, and they tested people uh, and told and molds and things have been tested on animals and so they're up on on this uh, those doctors uh, you have to pay cash to see um, but thankfully, on you know, this group, people who do pay to see those specialists, a lot of money, uh, share their knowledge, and then and then we share our knowledge of experience with each other. So that's been my main source of knowledge. So yeah, it's uh, people ask me, are you allergic? And does moving states, you know, be traveling and stuff? Does it help you? And the thing is that like the toxins don't know where I'm at, you know, in my body, and they're just there, you know. And what I discovered was um, from research is that the MTHFR gene, a quarter of the population has it, and they, they do not process out mold toxins. Your body doesn't get rid of them, your body accumulates them. So I don't know what led me to become susceptible to this stuff. Um, I've never had an issue with mold or my whole life. I don't know if at some point my body just accumulated enough that it was overwhelmed. Or if maybe I contracted Lyme disease and it and it bogged down my system to where um, it couldn't process out the mold toxins because I don't know if I'm I have that gene or not or what uh, led to it. I just know that that test revealed that the toxins were in me and the test in my home revealed that they weren't in my home. So uh, 2000. So this one headache uh, is extreme sometimes in. Um, and uh, the fatigue is extreme. I was nauseated a lot as well, the different seasons, and it's left me in bed most days over, over the past three years. And since we've, uh, I've been on a protocol, you know, I've, I changed my eating. In fact, I had a lot of irritable bowel, irritable bowel and other issues going on, um, and um, had to change my habit, my eating. I didn't eat any gluten or dairy or a lot of foods. All I ate was like rice, vegetables, meat for about 13 months. And if I ate other things, um, it seemed to make the headache a lot worse like the next day, the following day. So made that adjustment. And then recently I've had some improvements and I did some tests and I started, you know, I've done tests throughout <laughs> um, and it always was bad and my headache got worse. But dead tests uh, this summer, I mean, wait, not summer. Yeah, this past fall, 2022, and discovered that I could eat some things. So I kind of been eating normal. But anyway, during that time, I lost like 30 pounds in like eight months. Um, I was eating all I could. I was eating a lot. And um, so I know I had a healthy diet. But uh, so that was probably part of the losing. And I also read that uh, damaged mitochondria take up a lot of energy to repair, and so that was probably going on too. Um, but anyway, it's I know it's uh, I I believe after doing a lot of over a hundred hours of research and talking to a lot of people uh, and my own experience, I think that there's millions of people right now that are suffering from toxic mold syndrome in various different ways, but just don't know it. So just. Want you uh, guys to know just exactly what's going on, you know what happened, so that um, so so that you you know um, wanted to give an update. So I did a really long update, and once again I'm kind of losing focus. So uh, maybe it's not the best day to do this. But anyway, um, so it's known what's going on with me. It's not unknown. If you talk to a lot of doctors who never did research in this area, then 
they would say that's a scam, which one of my doctors did, that blood test thing, and that toxic mold doesn't hurt people. And the CDC says that um, there's no evidence of support that mold makes people ill, but if you have it in your home, take precautions. <laughs> so I don't know if you take precautions, if it doesn't make people ill, why would you take precautions? But anyway, that's kind of the, the mentality that leads to a lot of doctors blowing this off and a lot of people suffering needlessly for a long period of time and not really taking care of like mold in their home. Mold is in more than 50% of homes in America due to some type of water damage. So we can't just buy a home and move in. We could, we, we do want to live more out and I want to build new. I want to build without as much wood as I can with, with the least amount. And so the plan is to go back to Missouri to build. Um, the, the headache has gotten better a lot better um, instead of um, for a while there I was I was down two or three days a week and bet all day long in extreme pain and that's not the case so much now it's more like you know it got to a point like a couple of months ago was probably my best point uh, where I was like a headache once every other like the 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 migraine level once a week even once every two weeks but it was always random. I'm still on a low histamine diet. Uh, your body processes histamines and detoxes in the middle of the night between 2 and 4 a.m. And so I do uh, randomly, I used to wake up every night between 2 and 4 a.m. and sometimes never get back to sleep. There was a period of four months where I only rested like four hours a night of, on average, sometimes less of sleep. But it's, that's, I'm beyond that now. Um, so. The, the most recent is uh, this past month it's been bad because there's a lot of stresses we endured in California at least for me you know kind of driving this rig around and being flooded out of places and cussed out of others and <laughs> uh, just not a nice nice place um, so stress level increased and my headaches increased so stress is a factor I believe um, so uh, like a week or two ago, I had a period of like five days in a row of the extreme, like one to ten scale, like a number nine to ten headache every day, which was uh, really, really bad. Um, hopefully that was just due to something, you know, stress and stuff or some other things going on with my body. Maybe a, another level of detox I'm going through. Um, I'm uh, still on a protocol, activated charcoal. Uh, mildly uh, and uh, I think I'm improving besides this past month um, so yeah brain fog is really bad especially in the harder headache days and fatigue is always bad um, the headache itself is like today is kind of bad but it's just hit or miss so but overall I believe I'm, I'm improving I like uh, so the whole 1 to 10 scale headache thing, I just want to give you a reference because that's different for everybody. So the worst headache in my life before I was ill, like with this, was um, I'd say a number 5 or 6. Probably a number 6, like the very worst headache I could ever have in my whole life on this scale. So the best days I have uh, today, or these days, is like a number 6. That would be the best day I've had. And I can count those days on two hands in the past three years, three and a half years. Um, so it's not not very good. <laughs> um, oh goodness, we're losing my train of thought again. Maybe I should do this a different day. Anyway, I, I did want to give just a brief update for family and friends. Um, a shorter version because it took like an hour because there's a lot of facets to our lives. And I guess you know, not everybody needs to know all those ass, you know, facets, but I just wanted to document them anyway. But um, um, the the most days, the like my baseline headache, um, like a year ago, was like an eight, and then it was eight to ten all the time, <laughs> which is like living through hell. But uh, these days, like my baseline is more like a six. So um, getting down, getting down to that area. Um, yeah, like so. I said like I can count them on two hands. Um, 
until recently, like I've had some lighter headaches here. Um, I think the improvement is really subtle, and but it's gradual and it's going in the right direction. Besides some this past this past month, um, we're going to be going to Missouri, and hopefully um, I can at some point feel well enough to build a home. I don't think I'm there right now. Uh, we're living in this RV here, and it's a blessing, and I'm thankful. Um, but uh, so I'm not sure exactly what will happen. But we're excited to go back to buy land, and to maybe start on a, a home, and then I'll have to take it a day at a time. Now, like for like finances and stuff, I can't just I don't even know what I would do like for a job. But I can't just call in and say. I'd like to work with for you, but uh, I'm going to call in sick one or two days a week. I don't know which days those will be. That doesn't really fly very well. So still, we're, we're living off of the money that we when we sold our home. Thankfully, we had people to um, support us before we did that because we were coming, you know, toward the end. So selling that home was key. So we're living off of that money, and we're going to have to use that money to also buy a home and then I don't know when I can work again too anyway overall there's some improvements I just wanted people to know that um, um, they understand like the health thing and um, that's um, yeah I know it sounds mysterious and bizarre and it really is but it's not um, I think it's more common than what people realize I think a lot of people are suffering out there and I know they are because uh, a part of that group, there's tens of thousands of us actively being treated. But uh, I think there's millions probably suffering in some way from toxic mold and just don't know it. So it's sad that the CDC and, and uh, legacy system doesn't really educate or really look into more research because the research is there. Some doctors are fascinating stuff if you're not going through it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's the, the more quicker version of the update for us um i don't know if i'll upload this or not because i'm losing the whole track of thought here uh, um, but um, anyway that's kind of the gist of it um I'm, I'm it's known you know what i'm going through like some doctors will disagree with that and disregard it and and one va doctor will just say that you have a migraine and there's no cause for it it's just unknown what the cause is but we can give you drugs and then they don't help thankful that i uh, found that cannabis did it's the only thing that does there's i didn't know there were so many health benefits to cannabis it's amazing it's an amazing plant uh, i just thought it was a recreational drug i didn't didn't think it would help me but it does it really does and uh just thankful i'm really thankful for what we have you know that we're not on the street we, we have a, like a home to live in here and uh, we've had some family and friends that really help us uh, we've really lacked in a lot of areas um, but uh, but we haven't lacked you know the Lord has been with us and um, just I think I'm growing through this I'm thinking I'm being changed through this I don't know how exactly I think there's some positives to it and um, just trust in the Lord that it's going to bring us through the rest of the way and provide for us. He has so so far, you know, and uh, I have barely worked, barely earned any money in the past three years, really almost four years. I lost a lot of money in crypto um, a year ago. So if you add up um, our income versus our loss, um, basically it's zero for the past four three to four years <laughs> so it's amazing that you know we were able to sell our old home uh, we were helped by friends and family and also um, sell sell the current home that we were living in and um, to have some money to live on and not knowing when this journey ends like I mean as far as my health not I thought it would end like years ago but here we are and God is still faithful and trusting him thankful to know him I don't know what people do who don't know God I I think they kill themselves I I, I was at a point at some point where I did, really didn't want to go on and but I had a family that depended on me and I wouldn't uh, insult my God to ask for something like that um, but it was really difficult and 
we're doing, you know, pretty good spiritually. Uh, wanting to go deeper, wanting to go deeper with the Lord and with other people. And uh, just wanted to give a, a faster update. Here we are, 20 minutes. I'm going to cut this off here and I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, thankful, thankful to know you and have people that pray for us and support us. And uh, hoping that uh, this uh, stuff comes to an end here before too long and we can move on with our lives and do whatever the Lord wants us to do. Um, kind of don't really have any plans or aspirations at this point other than to get well. And it's been that way for a while, sadly, but um, I think that God doesn't wait, let things like this go to waste. And uh, I think he'll turn it out for good for us somehow. And it's not like I expect him to just rescue us out of every hardship or things that other people are going through in the world, you know, just because I'm his son. Uh, he will walk with us through it doesn't just take away all hardship just because we're in the right relationship with him. So, you know, I trust him. I trust him that uh, he's going to work out his will and and he's going to, we are blessed and um, hopefully uh, we can be a blessing to others at some point uh, on a deeper level once I'm beyond this and hope you guys are doing well. All right, take care.